And Marty Jobson on our prospects for actually travelling through time. Oh. For centuries, we believed that the passage of time was fixed. That time moved at exactly the same rate, irrespective of whether you were here on Earth, on the Moon, or even beyond. Then along came Albert Einstein, and he turned everything on its head with his theory of relativity, which showed that time was actually flexible. And he also proved that time travel is theoretically possible. But, well, it's complicated. What I really need is a highly qualified companion. Meet Professor Jeff Forshaw. Jeff is a theoretical physicist at the University of Manchester. He makes it his business to understand how time works. So what's the best way of thinking about time? Time has a direction. It's like an extra dimension of space. And as a result, physicists bundle time and space together and talk about space-time. Right, space-time. What's that, then? We're going to show how everything is moving through space-time. But when we take different paths at different speeds through space-time, strange things happen. So, Jeff, can you make me into a time traveller? Yes. To make you into a time traveller, all that I need for you to do is to deviate off my time direction. So you're going to go and head off through space. Head off, around this tree? You're going to head, get head off around that tree. OK. Yeah. I'm travelling in the time direction, you're travelling a bit through space. OK. And then what, back to you? And come back to me, you know. OK. All right, back over so here. You've now been wasting some of your speed through space-time means that you've been travelling less fast through time. Which means that you're older than me. That's right, yeah. by about a thousand trillionth of a second. <laughs> Brilliant. All this depends on accepting Einstein's ideas. He spent years formulating his super complex theory that space and time are bound up together and that by using speed it's possible to manipulate how we experience time relative to each other. So once you've got your head round that, if we took my little jaunt around the tree to an extreme, I'd become a proper time traveller. So if I'd run round the tree faster... Then you would have moved further into my future. If we built a very big spaceship that you could travel, for example, 50 years into my future, yeah. right? Just by taking a journey on a spaceship. On a spaceship, but I'd have yeah. to go jolly fast. You'd have to go close to the speed of light, yeah. Mm. Get me back in time. The problem is we're nowhere near designing something that can travel that fast. It's pretty much impossible. So if manipulating time by using speed is beyond us, is there another way to travel through time? Space-time is malleable, and one of the things that causes space-time to become distorted is gravity. So the Earth's gravitational field is distorting space-time, right. and it distorts it more down there than it does here. So whilst we're up here, we're aging yes. more rapidly than the people down on the ground. If we wanted to age one second more than the people down at the bottom, right. then we'd have to stay at the top of this thing for about 10 million years. Well, that's the theory, but every day, millions of us rely on it working when we switch on our sat-navs and connect to GPS satellites. GPS satellites are in a much weaker gravitational field. Consequently, the clocks on the GPS satellites run faster. In other words, the clocks in space and on Earth run at different rates. But to make sat-navs work, they must be exactly in sync. Without correcting for it, the GPS system would fail within a matter of hours. However, harnessing the effects of gravity to make time travel possible is currently beyond us. But before we give up on time travel, think on this. If science fiction could inspire us to build a machine to fly to the moon, then who's to say that our descendants won't crack the problems of time travel? Here's to the future. <laughs> I love it. Uh, earlier on, we mentioned that the, uh, the Queen's car is up for sale. <laughs> this is it. And we wanted uh, to go for a little test drive 